Hi, we're Shadu and Elliot, and given that this is the year of the staycation, we are seeing what the UK has to offer, and this trip has brought us to the Peak District. We didn't arrive into the Peak District until the afternoon, so we found a nice, steady route around Mamtor that would warm up our legs for the days to come and treat us to some of the most iconic sights within the National Park. The path to the top was steep but short and it wasn't long before we were rewarded with incredible 360 degree views as well as some of nature's finest aircon. It definitely took longer to get down than it did to get up which is never a bad thing although we were in a race against time as we needed to head to a supermarket to stock up on the supplies that would fuel us for the rest of the trip. We spent our first evening at a Cambodian restaurant called Kambuja and let me tell you the food was out of this world. Good morning, we are in the Peak District in our Airbnb. Today is our first full day here and it's our first time ever in first the Peak time District. Ever in a, first time ever in the Peak District, first time ever in an Airbnb which just blows my mind. It's like where <laughs> have we been? We've been living yeah. under a rock. Unbelievable. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. We've got this lovely little cottage and we haven't got far to actually drive to all of the different locations that we want to get to. So it's a yeah. perfect location. So we're here at our first stop of the day, which is Derwent Dam, and we're about to do a walk, which is called Lost Villages. Which, how interesting does that sound? Yeah, it sounds really cool. Um, hopefully we get to see like the remains of the villages pointing out of the reservoir, but it says it's pretty full today, so who knows? I don't really know how that works. Wow, now that is the bench with a view. I mean, look at that. <laughs> what do you so think to it? It's just stunning. I'm just like absolutely captivated by that bridge as well. I know, it, it just is. fits perfectly. Considering it's like a man-made thing, yeah. the landscape looks so beautiful here. So this walk is called the Lost Villages Walk because it's the sites where the flooded villages of Derwent and Ashupton were. At one point you could actually see a spire in the middle of the reservoir. The um, picture looks so cool. I know, it? and it would have been lovely to see that. So we have made it to Derwent Dam. Woohoo! Elliot said, where's the water? <laughs> because <laughs> if you googled Derwent Dam, you'll sometimes see like the water cascading over the edge of it. But unfortunately that only happens when the water levels are really high. Which it still looks pretty right cool. Now. It actually looks like a castle. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh yeah, could we buy one of your first cups? Oh, they're too well fed, aren't they? Like that one. Are you sure? Yeah. Cool. Uh, uh, you just pass it, Mick, so I need to get you that. Yeah. Very kind of you. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks so much. Cheers. Got the good. <laughs> so yeah, if you come here, you can actually buy duck food <laughs> to feed these hungry lot. They must be the happiest ducks in the world. I know. We have seen them be fed like a couple of times, so hopefully they work on like a little rotation yeah. system. <laughs> they recognise the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stood on my feet. <laughs> That's so cute. Is that a mission accomplished? Yeah. You're quite happy now. Um. So we've woken up at half past two this morning in the hope to make it for sunrise at Winnett's Pass. And we've got a really jam-packed day, haven't we? Yeah, we have. So we thought rather than like go to sunrise and then come back and get ready for the day, we would just get ready before we went. It's early. <laughs> Yeah, I feel ill. <laughs> and we haven't even looked outside of the window yet, so we're praying that there's no cloud cover yeah. or like minimal cloud cover because this needs to be worth it. Morning. <laughs> Traffic jam. So we've made it. We're here at the top of Winnett's Pass for sunrise. Yeah, it was so, so wow. worth getting up early for. It's currently about 20 minutes until actual sunrise. Yeah. So it's about to get a whole lot more beautiful. So we will actually put the details of how we got to this spot because I did a little bit of research online before we came yeah. and it was really hard to find. And if we hadn't been able to follow that photographer, we might have struggled. So I'll do my best for some honestly, kind of map up. If it wasn't for that photographer, we probably would have ended up on the wrong side. Yeah, yeah. This is the place to be. This is the spot. If you want to watch sunrise in the Peak District, you want to get yourselves here. Wow. <laughs> To your eyes 
Cause I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line What did you think was the noise? It was so worth getting up at half past two for Absolutely <laughs> I did not want to get up this morning <laughs> But I'm so glad we did All you could hear this morning was just the sound of the sheep and our footsteps, that was it. And then we were just greeted by this beautiful pastel sunrise, amazing. I feel like all I've said is amazing, stunning, perfect, but that is literally what it is, honestly. Are you a bit chilly? Yeah, oh, what is it, about 6.30, 6.30 yeah. a.m. So it's still a little bit nippy. A little bit chilly. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just switching to some longer socks to try and get a bit warmer because we are heading to probably the place that Elliot has been most excited about. Yes. Haven't, yeah? I've been <laughs> yapping on about wild swims for so long. <laughs> so this is the one. We're swimming. This is nice. Yeah, really nice. It's actually really cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about going in the swimming. Are we on track? I think so. We're not on the track that we were meant to be on, but we're on a track that takes us to the waterfalls. And that's all that matters, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that'll do. Wow, how picturesque is that? Look at those two waterfalls. Oh. This place is stunning. It is midgy central here. Yeah. But we're going in. Maybe not for long though, because I'm going to get eaten alive. Time to get kit on. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going now? Uh, we are going to head to Thor's cave. And from what we've seen, it looks like spectacular. So hopefully it lives up to the hype. Is this not the most picturesque trail you have walked? It's absolutely gorgeous everywhere. And I think we can see the start of Thor's cave now, kind of like the wall that, oh, yeah. that it sits in. It's completely sheer. So we're just approaching Thor's cave now and it looks like we're walking at the back of it and it's got like a real sort of hobbit vibe going yeah, on. Yeah, like the Shire. So this is the view from the top. What a view that is. So we've climbed to the top of Thor's cave and now what are we doing? We are walking down to actually go inside the cave. That was insane. It's just absolutely incredible. So what do we think to Thor's Cave then? Very, very impressive. Absolutely gigantic. Uh, but if you want to come and go inside, then make sure you wear grippy shoes. It was really slippy yeah, inside. Yeah, like, it was like marble inside. It was so shiny. I didn't give it a go. It was like a slide. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You're looking very beautiful today. Thank you. It's very sunny today, so I've got my summer dress on. And we're also going to afternoon tea, so tea dress. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the next day, and after we left Thor's Cave, we went back, got ready, and went for a drink in this lovely local pub. And then we headed to this great restaurant and had vegan pie. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous food. So, so tasty. But yeah, it is our final day here in the Peak District today. Oh, I'm so sad about I that. I know, I know. We've <laughs> honestly, we've just had the nicest time. It's really been so have. lovely. And we're just in Whaley Bridge, which is actually where we've been staying. So we're just going to explore this area a little bit. And, and then, then, where are we going next? We're going to Bakewell, which is the home of the Bakewell pudding and the Bakewell tart. 
I believe. Um, <laughs> so we are going to go and get afternoon tea in Bakewell. Yeah. And obviously have Bakewell tart. <laughs> I'm well excited. Hello. Hi. Hiya. Do you know these are vegan and gluten free? Yeah. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. So we have just been into bloomers that have been making Bakewell puddings here for over a hundred years. You've got to go somewhere that's been making it for over a hundred yeah, years. They must be you? good by then. Probably going to be doing <laughs> a good job. We didn't go for Bakewell pudding, but we did go for Bakewell tarts because this place did gluten free and vegan Bakewell tarts, which is amazing. And look how good yeah. this looks. I did not expect us to get an iced one of those. Yeah, well we got an iced one and we also got like one with toasted almonds on top as well. Perfect. But Elliot's been absolutely dying to try the iced one. I, I didn't really think have. you were going to be able to get one for you with icing on. No. So you really chuffed when you saw that, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> we need to go find a nice little bench and yeah. uh, go give We've them a try. We've got afternoon tea booked in like three hours, so this is really naughty, but we won't eat it all. No. We'll just go find a bench and have a little taste, see what it's like. <laughs> Trying to find a bench so we can go and eat or try our little bake or tart. Yeah. Um, we've just come to Riverside Gardens. It's beautiful. It's so cute here. It's lovely. Hopefully we'll find a bench. <laughs> This is the first time ever trying a Bakewell tart in, in Bakewell. Bakewell. I think with one this big, this feels like a dinner plate sized Bakewell tart. I think you're supposed to cut it, but we're just on a bench in the park, so we can't do that. I've got no cutlery. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to take a bite of it. Go for it. Mmm. Yum. Mm hmm. I haven't broken into the filling yet though. I've just got the pastry crust. <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lovely like crisp pastry around the outside and then kind of like a cake layer, like an almond flour cake layer Ooh. with jam and then icing on the top of it. I'm excited to give it a try. It's gorgeous. What do you it's rate got it really a nine. Ooh, that's good. I really that's liked solid. it. But it has a really strong almond flavour. So if you love almonds then you'll definitely love this. And the jam is absolutely gorgeous. What's the icing like? Thick. I, the thick icing is the bit that gets me going. Yeah, I really want to eat. I want to try the icing. Oh yeah, you'll love it. It's a nice thick layer of icing on the top. I'm just wondering when I get to eat the cherry. Yeah. Well, I think I should try it now and see if it really is a nine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so nine out of ten, you say? Yeah, nine out of ten. It looks amazing. Make sure you get a good beef in the middle. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that is genuinely amazing. Solid nine out of ten. Yeah. I'd maybe even go 9.5. <laughs> wow. You get an almond flavour too. Yeah, I'm not even sure what's wrong with it. I don't know why it's not a 10. I'm giving it a 10. <laughs> it's that good. It's really good. Look at the size of this afternoon tea. <laughs> it's absolutely gigantic. There are so many pieces of cake and wraps and all sorts on there. I think I'm defeated. I wanted to say best to last, but I just can't do it. Luckily, the lady did say that you can box it, but you didn't manage to eat, so it looks like you're gonna go home with a goodie bag. Lavender tea rooms know how to do afternoon tea. The little courtyard that we were seated in was just so secluded and kind of yeah. like off the main path, so it was nice yeah, and, and quiet. Yeah, um, they had some little shops in there as well, didn't they? Yeah, loads of small little independent shops in there, which were nice, just have a little look around. So yeah, absolutely perfect spot to get afternoon tea while you're in Bakewell. So sadly, that is the end of our trip here in the Peak District. Yeah, time for us to drive off home now. We've had such a brilliant time. Yeah. We've only just scratched the surface of things that you can see and do here. There's a list just never ended yeah, of things to see. I think we see. did pretty well. We picked some pretty awesome yeah. places to go. We fitted a lot into our three nights that we've been here. Yeah. And we've absolutely loved every second of everything that we have done. Hope you enjoyed watching. Yeah, we and, hope we've uh, inspired your next trip to the Peak District yeah, as well. Yeah, for sure. Definitely add it to your list of places to visit. You will not be disappointed. So if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Bye.